Hello, everyone. My name is Julia Coleman. I'm a member of the Chanhassen City Council and a candidate for the Minnesota State Senate to represent Carver County. I wanted to briefly talk today about how to be a good neighbor and a good community member during the COVID-19 pandemic. I wrote an op-ed about this published in the Chanhassen Villager, but also wanted to utilize social media to spread the word. I believe so many of us have good hearts, our hearts are in the right place, and we want to do the right thing, but sometimes we can feel helpless and not know where our skills are needed or how we can help. So here are a couple tips I have about how to be a good neighbor during the coronavirus outbreak. My first tip is to participate in the Light the Night movement. I first learned about this on social media and have been practicing it in my own home ever since. Now there's two ways that you can participate in this movement. One is to put a candle, now blow it out before you go to bed, but a candle in the window or a lamp if you wanna be a little bit safer or to put your Christmas lights back out, which has been really cool to see Christmas lights going up around my neighborhood. By participating in the light the night movement and make sure you take a picture, use the hashtag and put it on social media. You are signaling to your neighbors that you are here to help. You are signaling to your senior neighbors who might be terrified of contracting COVID due to their increased likeliness of it being fatal, that you will go run an errand for them. You are signaling to your neighbors whose child's school or child care has been canceled, but jobs have not because they're an essential worker, that you are there to help with child care, that you will take a phone call if someone is lonely or bored or anxious, uh, that you are in this with them. And it is so beautiful to see lights in the window and Christmas lights go up and to see people participating in this movement and to just shine a little light, spread a little light and a little bit of joy and help through a dark and difficult time. Uh, I also wanna talk a little bit about hoarding. I've seen stories of people hoarding baby formula, uh, essential items. I have friends who can't even get eggs at the grocery store. Uh, luckily, I had just purchased before this outbreak a, a enough toilet paper to hopefully get us through, but there's people who are up at the stores every day when they open and the toilet paper is gone before they can get there. Uh, the supply chains are not yet disrupted, so do not hoard. Think about your neighbor. Think about you know your senior elderly neighbor who it is hard for them to get out to the store to get the essential items they need and to just buy what you need and move on. It's tempting. You know, I want to stock up on essential items. Uh, the anxiety is definitely there, but I just think about who won't get the items that they need right now because I want to have a month supply and I hold back. So make sure that we aren't hoarding and that we truly are all in this together. Uh, my other tip is to check on each other. I called to check on my grandmother. Um, she lives alone and she told me that her neighbor had a sign in their window across the street that said, hello, Miriam. And she gave them a call just to say thank you. And they put that sign in the window because they didn't have her number uh, so that you know, they would be able to check on her and she knew that she wasn't alone and it was so great. Uh, it warmed my heart. So thank you to her neighbors who did that. And I really appreciated it. So make sure you check on each other, call your elderly neighbors, call your neighbors who live alone, uh, call your friends or neighbors who are trying to work from home without childcare. I'm on that list. It's no easy feat. Uh, my last tip is to buy local, continue supporting our small businesses. Most meals I am ordering from local businesses and restaurants and doing curbside pickup or delivery, so making sure to support our small businesses. If you are ordered out and you can't possibly eat another bite, buy a gift card, make sure you're tipping extra. If you like to shop online, check first to see if a local operation in your area uh, does online shopping. A lot of them that never have before are now adapting to do so. And so make sure that you're supporting your local businesses, you're checking on your neighbors, you're not hoarding, and that you are lighting the night with hope and joy. Thank you all for listening. If you have other tips, send them my way and I'll be sure to share them. Thank you.